Welcome back to the Delaware Way. As you may have heard, right now there's an unusual situation in that there's a tie in the Delaware State Senate that's going to be filled by a special election. One of the candidates is here today. Joseph Lanzendorfer is the Middletown Senate candidate for the Libertarian Party. Thank you so much for being here. Glad to be here. When is the special election? Well, we actually don't know yet. Bethany Hall Long has to vacate her seat by the and 17th. And become lieutenant governor. Of course, and become lieutenant governor. Then the uh, governor has to announce a special election uh, 10 days from then, then. So he should announce it on the uh, 27th at the latest. And then the election has to take place 30 to 35 days from then. So we don't have the date yet, but it should be late February, maybe early March. And, and the Republican running has come close to beating Bethany Hall Long in the past. And there is a, uh, a Democrat running. What kind of a chance does a libertarian candidate have in that race? Well, I think that we do actually have a pretty good shot in this rate because we have such a small target market to reach. Uh, you know, this is only Delaware, and it's only uh, Senate District 10. So we're looking at 1 of the of the population here. So I think that if we rally the libertarian base and that if we get a lot of support and get the message out, uh, I think that we do have a, a, a good chance. And what is the message? What are your issues? I'm a lot more liberal than libertarian on when it comes to the issues of, of education. Uh, most libertarians are more about uh, less taxes, less government. It's the one issue where I think that uh, th that spending is good and that I do break away from the libertarian party But you party want the there. federal government out of the local schools? Well, I wouldn't say I want the federal government out completely. What I really want is less bureaucracy in our schools. And most of our funding from schools comes from our state and local taxes. We spend about uh, $15,000 per student in Delaware, and only about one-fifteenth of that actually comes from the federal government. Uh, so the biggest problem I have with what the federal government does and the way that works is uh, things like the No Child Left Behind Act, the Every Child Succeeds Act, and how standardized testing works and how the federal government says you have to meet these certain standards and they base the funding based on those standards, sort of dangling the money above the heads of these schools. And as a result, you've got schools that uh, focus more on uh, getting the children to pass those tests so that they don't lose their funding instead of a broad education. You have things like art and uh, literature and music and shop and home economic classes sort of pushed out of the curriculum so that they can focus on just passing these tests instead right, of the education. Right, but you're not education. like a, a lot of libertarians who say there should be no Department of Education, that it's not constitutionally mandated, the federal government should be involved in local schools. That's not your stance. Not philosophically, but one of the things, if you want to talk about the Department of Education, is it was started in 79. It started with a budget of $11 billion, and now it's up to something like $77 billion, and let the tests scores have pretty much remained flat and I think that that's because uh, their focus is on just on those testing. I believe that we need to have more of a bottom-up approach to education. We need to empower our teachers. They're the foot soldiers of our education system. They are in the classroom working with these students every single day. They're the ones who went to college of this. They've got years experience in this. I think we need to empower them and, and trust them when it comes to educating children. What, one last point. It'd be interesting if you were to win because right now it's a tie, 10 to 10. Yes. And that would con continue to tie, and you could go back and forth, and you'd have a lot of power in the Senate because wherever you wanted to vote, that could be the swing vote. Are you going to run on that? Absolutely. I think one of the most beautiful things about that is it kind of would destroy partisan politics in the Senate, and it's going to force both sides to work together to accomplish legislation. Instead of the Democrats having complete control and forcing through whatever they want, or the Republicans having complete control and forcing through whatever they want, they're either going to have to convince me, the Libertarian, to side with their legislation to get it to pass through, or they're going to have to reach across the aisle and work together to bypass me in order to get any legislation now, passed. Now, to get on committees and such, you have to, you have to join, you have to caucus with somebody, right? I'm not sure which side I would caucus with. I'd like to reach across the table and work with both sides because libertarians, they uh, tend to agree with Democrats on social issues and then they tend to agree with Repus Republicans on uh, fiscal issues and fiscal responsibility. So I kind of want to perform a balancing act. Thank you so much for coming in. Good Glad luck to, to you, Joseph Lenzendorfer, who is running for Senate in Middletown as a libertarian. That is the Delaware Way for this week. Go to www.kjwpchannel2.com, kjwp2.com to replay segments from this show or previous shows and leave your comments about what you've seen on today's show on our Facebook page or you can reach me on Twitter at the Delaware Way or at Larry Menti. We may read your thoughts on a future show. I'm Larry Menti. See you again next week.